This is Dabu7 with another huge update here on Comet Ison. What you're looking at is Comet Ison and Inky in the background. As Ison is streaking toward the sun. Obviously looks a lot brighter and much bigger because it is uh, over Inky, but it's also closer to the camera in this perspective. Now, you could call it a coincidence with Inky being right back in the frame here with Comet Ison at this crazy time where we're viewing all these comets coming in toward the sun but comet inky in 2007 had astronomers attention because a cme ripped its tail off and at that time it was the one of the first chances they had to study an event like this well back then the sun was at low levels we are now at, at solar maximum so they haven't seen this kind of event before and for those of you that don't believe it um, they say it themselves. They say that everything that's going on here is unpredictable. Okay? They say, frankly, we cannot predict what would happen. Because when this thing comes in, it's going to have a magnetic and an electric charge. And mark my words, there will be massive CMEs let loose um, in brilliance. These flares will rip off as this comet gets very close. Uh, as soon as that connection is made, um, the plasma is usually not dense enough to pierce through the comet, although if it is fragmented, it could separate it. Um, it would affect the tail as we have seen already. Once again, I'll leave links, but like I said, they said that they cannot predict what is going to happen. They are in uncharted territory, and it would be pretty new territory for us. Okay, so they don't know, folks. That's out of their own mouths. They do not know what is going on now. Now I'm going to throw some numbers your way here. Um, they said that this cycle was 400,000 with the uncertainty of 25,000 years. Well, I was going to share this information with you because somebody had pointed out that it falls within exactly 50 Mayan long counts, if that was the case, roughly. Well, since we came out with all this new information, guess what? They have changed it again, updated today, November 25th, 2013. And folks, it is now 582,666. That is the orbit on Comet Ison now, updated from the 400,000 with almost another 183,000 years added to this orbit. Okay, this is this is big. So, in the past few days, we have learned the comet Ison is been labeled a comet, and it is periodical. It has been here before, and as of this moment, it is at five hundred eighty-two six 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 thousand years of an orbit, and it just keeps keeps growing. And now we know, since the CME had ripped off the tail and part of the coma, exactly what the size of the core of Comet Ison is, and it's huge. Now, I'm going to leave you guys on this, and I'll leave links, as always. The Hopi Prophecy, the Blue Star Kachina, all of you have heard of it. It is the ninth and the last sign, and it talks about a dwelling place in the heavens. A dwelling place, okay? Above the earth that shall fall with a great crash. And it will appear as a blue star. Now this blue star will do the dance in the plaza. The plaza being the sun. And the blue star Kachina being Comet Ison. And after it does its dance in the plaza, it will remove its mask. I believe there's a high possibility here for Ison being this Kachina. And when it comes around the sun on Thanksgiving Day and it makes this close approach where everyone's watching football and eating their turkey, there's going to be a, a massive electrical discharge of solar flares. And at some point, I believe it's going to wipe Ison's coma and tail and everything out at that point. And when it reemerges, it will reemerge from the sun a different comet. I'm going to leave you guys here with a crunch on these new numbers that they have provided for us. Since it's got a 666 in here, I'm going to add some numbers up real quick. What do we get? 5, 8, and 2 here. What do they equal? 15, 1 plus 5. 
out of the 15 equals 6. So that would give us another 6 over here. 4 6s. 5 and 4 is 9. So 6, 12, 18, 24, if we add all four sixes together, what's 2 plus 4 equal? 6. Okay, so we'd get a 6 over here. And we got a 9 over here, the 6 and the 9 representing the yin and the yang. Now, if you take that 24 that we got and we added these up and add 9 to it, what do you get? You get 33. What's that? That equals 6 once again. Now... If we were to take that 9 that we get, the final number, and we were to take that 6 that we get here, the final number, and add that yin and yang up, what do you get? You get 15, which equals what? <laughs> 6. I'll leave links till next time. This has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.